Welcome to the 4-Minute Morning for today, Saturday, 17th day of March. Today is also Crypto Day. My name is Derek. Everything, like always, within your own risk, own reward. Let's take a look at Bitcoin on multiple time frames, starting off within the most long-term 20-day chart. And within the last three periods, price action came down to the 23.6% Fibonacci, rose up to the 18 average of highs, and is falling lower than that. As long as price action is unable to get above the 12,008, and then the band is now going to start to flatten out. It cannot even come close to declining unless it has at least one leg lower. And that would be the next point of support if it breaks through. Stage one is band flattening out, which is what it's starting to do now. Keyword trying to do or in the stage of attempting to do such. And if it uh, goes to stage two, it needs to establish a level of support. I'd be looking at 3000 as the most probable level in which it does if, of course, it does so. One week time frame has already had the band flatten out. It's already established support. It's already came back to the band and it's starting to leave it. So definitely a bearish signal. Breaking this level of support, 18 average, of course, will start to decline. And I'd be looking for a leg lower to around, well, the 3000 area. Daily chart, we have the double top for Bitcoin, which has obviously resisted this area. I spent now three days just hovering at this lower end, pausing the down move, so not a bullish signal whatsoever. And it has to do an attempt to get past this 18 average to break through. But again, coming down or breaking down below here would give that big test of the 6,000 mark. On the four hour time frame, price action since this low here came up to the 18 average and it's flattened out, but it's also showing a lot of weakness over the last uh, three or four periods. Now just barely breaking below the 18 average of lows, attempting to support the lower end of this area in here. It has recently most uh, resisted the last major key area of support, which is very normal when you have lower highs, lower lows in a bear market. One hour time frame we can see is pretty much just breaking down below the support, leaving the 18 average very, very weak to say the least. And we can even see here when this level of resistance was broken, it got above it, stayed a, a little bit above it for quite some time, was unable to break the resistance it established, and then a decent size leg mover when it, it was done, which is the exact same pattern it had just recently beforehand. And we can see that this resistance matched up with, of course, the support from before. On the 15 minute time frame, this thing has just been breaking down, sort of like this was breaking down in here. It has not found support at this uh, key range between uh, 8070 and about 8150. The 18 average, of course, declining, entering this area of support that it has tested quite some time, but not in a while. If it uh, has any type of rally from here, the 18 average previous level is a point that is uh, expected to be resistance. So if you see any moves up towards there and the weakness showing, like a lot of these uh, charts are showing within the 18 of lows, then it would look pretty probable that this level is going to give and we'd have a 6,000 short-term test. So all of these markets look bearish. Now, Jay Step 4 talked about the WebBot report in page 13, and since he talked about it, I want to show that page on the screen now. This report was purchased from halfpasthuman.com. It is the most recent one. It's page 13. And I'm only going to read, I'm going to, I'll let you pause this if you want to read up here, and I'm going to scroll it down to here. Yet more occurrences of prices and cryptocurrencies currencies show up as model spaces move past the 17th of March over the last two weeks. The accretion patterns bring in many more sets of supporting position to confidence, escalation referring to the mood of crypto space going forward. And I'll let you uh, read any of the last uh, couple paragraphs for yourself in here. And uh, that, that means either the charts, which are bearish, showing another decent size retracement in almost every time frame, either that's going to happen or it's not. And the web bot within these reports are saying it's not. So we'll see. Market's going to do what it's going to do. Thank you for tuning in and have yourself a magnificent day. Bye-bye.